Hey guys, this is Sugar, and I'm bringing you this video about my lipstick collection. Lately, I have been um, buying and collecting lipsticks, lip balms, butters to test out colors, see what works for me, see what doesn't work for me. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with these two lipsticks that come out the NYC collection because I'm just going to get right to it. I don't like NYC lipsticks. Um, reason being because the lipstick are very soft. It's like as soon as you touch your lip to try to put your color on, the lipsticks move. Um, the two colors that I have is 314 and Petal. This is how it looks. See how soft that lipstick is? Ew. And 304 Mocha. And this is how it looks. I'm going to swatch these lipsticks for you to show you the colors. Um, this is the Petal. That's how that one looks. And I thought I was going to like this kind of color, but I don't because these lipsticks don't have that much of a color payoff either. Um, the Mocha is a very icy color, a deep icy color. And that one doesn't too much show on my lips. And I don't like that shimmery, icy kind of lipstick anyway. So... Yeah, but like I said, this is out of the NYC collections, 304 Boca, 314 Petal. The reason why these look like these is because um, I taped uh, around the caps to keep the names and the line of the lipstick. And this is the Ultra Moist lipstick. I guess that's why they're so soft because they are very, very soft. Um, I just don't like the way the lipstick moves around in the packaging. Like I'm going to lose the whole lipstick. So yeah, these are the two lipsticks out of my whole lip collection that I do not like. Um, the next one are my Wet n Wilds and these are my favorites. Wet n Wilds are nothing but a dollar a pop and I love the way they feel on my lips. And they have so many colors for fair skinned females to very, very dark skinned females and that's why I love Wet n Wild. I'm going to start with my favorite one, which is 314C, and I love nude colors, so this is like a deep brownish nude, like that, I'm going to swatch that for you, and it may be, you know, kind of dark for others, but it's just right for my skin tone, I wear that color all the time, um, the next color that I wear a lot is the 918D, and this is Cherry Bomb. I'm going to introduce you to Cherry Bomb. Bam. Look at that rich color. Amazing. Top it off with a shiny lip gloss. A new eyeshadow. And it's beautiful. Uh, the next color is the 919B. Now this one, this one is so deep of a color to wear. I wear it sometimes and sometimes I don't wear it. Depending on my mood. And this is the color. It's a very, very deep velvety purple. So, these are the three out of my Wet n Wilds. Um, if you like them, pick them up at Rite Aid. I think I got these from Rite Aid. Or one of their makeup sales. Yeah. Okay, another um, lipstick line that I like is CoverGirls. And I have three different kind of lipsticks from CoverGirls. No, I'm sorry. This one is by Maybelline. Not CoverGirl. But these two are by CoverGirl. Actually, I do have a third one. It's not a lipstick, but it's a lip slick. These. I'm going to start off with Hipster. This is the color Hipster. And this is the CoverGirl um, Lip Slicks. This is like my fifth or sixth tube of this because I love this color. Um, mind you, I said it's a lip slick, so it's not a lipstick. It's not a lip balm. It's not a lip butter. It's a lip slick. <laughs> And the reason being, because it's a very moist, barely bare color. So if you're looking for a shine with very barely bare color, you cover girl lip slicks. Um, as a matter of fact, like I said, I've been buying these for a long time and I'm not sure they even sell these anymore. So you probably have to go online to purchase those. Um, another color that they don't sell this line anymore it's the CoverGirl Parisian Pink 545 and I can't remember the name of this lipstick line 
but this is a very pinkish girly pink and I'm gonna show you it's not that much color payoff but if you're looking for something pink and more like a lip balm kind of feel then then this lipstick is great they still sell these in the store but they are discontinued because I researched this lipstick on covergirl.com not I think last week um, a new kind of lipstick that they have out is the covergirl lip perfection jumbo gloss balm it's a lip balm and you could turn up the lip balm like that and I have it in the color 265 um it's okay but it's a barely their color so it's made for like either Caucasian girls or light skinned girls because it doesn't show up on my lips at all but I wear it as a lip balm and I think I bought this earlier this week so once again it's the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Gloss Balm I'm sorry and it's the color in 265 um, I'm going to go into my reds which is the Revlon Candy Apple 35 and I like this red it's it's not a deep bright red it's like a soft shiny red and I'm gonna show you right up under this deep color right here it's very shiny um soft red and I like this matter of fact I have it on right now and I have it on top of this pink lipstick that I'm going to show you next but this is the Revlon's color burst lip butter it's not a lipstick it's not a lip balm it's not a lip slick it's lip butter and when I say it feels just like butter on your lips it feels just like butter you can't feel it at all when you put it on your lips so if you're looking for lipsticks that has a little color burst to it but a soft going on like butter this is a good product right here and that is the Revlon color burst lip butter and I'm holding candy apple show you the color again and yeah, that's the color um the pink that I'm wearing now up under that candy apple is 860 pink pop I think you can see it in the light like that and it is a pink pink I mean a girly pink and it reminds me of the Parisian pink out of this case right here but it's more of a more pinkish you know and like I said I have it on my lips right here yeah and I love this color it works so good with my skin tone sometimes I wear by itself sometimes I wear it with another uh, mid-tone red and um this line is I can't remember the lipstick line but I know it's Maybelline and it comes in a case like this like this and I think they bought these out probably a year and a half ago and I'm not a big Revlon fan I'm sorry Maybelline fan and um, I just so happened to see them in the store and wanted to try them and I kind of like these kind of colors right here that they offer in this lipstick line and uh, the color payoff is pretty good it's not that that big you know that deep color payoff like the next lipstick I'm going to show you but it kind of works um let's see if I could swatch it on my arm for you it's right here and this is the Parisian pink off the cover girl and this is the Maybelline pink pop so they kind of look the same but then it don't this is a deeper pink and it has more color payoff than the Parisian pink so yeah and that's color is a uh, bold red and I'm just getting into red lipstick because I never did like red lipstick but um, it's very cheap lip uh, color and it's by the LA colors they're nothing no more than a dollar and this is cherry balm and I get a lot of people asking me, what kind of red is that? It works good with your skin tone. I love that red. And you see how bright that red is? It's very bright. And I'm going to show you how bright it is. The very bottom. That's how bright that red is. 
And if I wasn't wearing pink pop, I would have put this on my lips and show you how bright this red is. And I love it. Matter of fact, I took pictures of this um, for New Year's on my Facebook page. So, check, you know, that lip color out on top of my lips. But, um, I think I wear this probably once or twice a week when I'm doing a, a, a cat eye kind of look. And it kind of complements each other. And it's by LA Colors. It's Cherry Red. I really do like this. I really like that red. The next color is out of the Black Radiance line. And it's 5033. This is the last color I'm going to show you. And I think this is my third lipstick out of Black Radiance. And it's okay. It's okay. It's a very, very deep purple. Let's watch that for you. And it looks like this purple out of the Wet n Wild. But this, this is it. This is it right and sometimes you will find, you know, lipsticks out of different lipstick uh, makeup collections and they kind of look the same. But even though these look these look the same, I mainly wear the Wet n Wild because the Wet n Wild stays on my lip a whole lot longer than the Black Radiance. The Black Radiance has more of like a, a little bit more shine in it as far as the Wet n Wild's lipsticks that I own. They're, they're more of a like... On the lipstick, more like a pasty kind of feel. It's more like a, a matte kind of color that goes on your lips. So if I'm if not if I'm not in the mood for like a shiny lip color, I grab my Wet and Wilds, uh, and they stay on my lips all night at work, all day during the daytime. So yeah, but like I say, the least favorite of my lipstick is the NYC colors. And my favorite lipsticks of all time are the Wet n Wilds. Um, and it's kind of crazy because Wet n Wilds and NYC are very cheap. Matter of fact, I think I bought NYC's for 97 cents and bought the Wet n Wilds no more than $1.50. And I like the Wet n Wilds. But when you go into your more expensive lipsticks, which are, I think these were 8 or 9 bucks a pop, um... They, they function well as far as, like I say, lip butters and stuff like that. But they don't have the color payoff as the Wet n Wild does. So, I just continue to buy Wet n Wild all the time. And I'm still testing out products like these. And I will show you different kind of reviews on my Facebook page, Brown Sugar. So, if you're looking to test out products and don't want to spend your money... Um, you can hit up my Facebook page and let me know what lipstick to try. And I'll be more willing to try please to try the lipsticks for you but yeah <clears throat> and you know put up the reviews on my facebook page so these are my lipsticks in the lipstick collection and you know i collect a lot of lip, uh, a lot of makeup so i have way more lipsticks than what i have here but i just picked out several just to show you um a part of my lipstick collection yeah so, um, you can also follow me on Twitter, Brown Sugar Soul Number One, and Brown Sugar spelled B R O W N S U G A H, and Brown Sugar on Facebook as well. And I have a YouTube channel, Brown Sugar. So I'm gonna put all the information on this video as well. So once again, I came to you with my listed collection. Hope that you like my video. Hope that you love my swatches. And until then, I will see y'all guys later. Bye. <laughs>